bathroom, living room. This right here is the kitchen, and uh, thanks for coming by. Bye-bye. Don't you, uh, don't you want to ask me any questions? Sure. Uh, hmm. What's up? Well, uh, I'm an actor. I'm fairly neat. I, uh, I got my own TV. Oh, and don't worry, I'm totally okay with the gay thing. <laughs> what gay thing? Uh, just, you know, in general, the whole pe people being gay thing. Totally cool with that. The heat. <clears throat> and, and the humidity. <laughs> That's a, uh, that's a tough combination. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in for some lemonade? Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh. so this place is really my grandmother's. <laughs> I got it from her when she moved to Florida. Otherwise, I could never afford a place like this. So if the landlord ever asks, I'm an 87-year-old woman who's afraid of her VCR. You thirsty? Oh, you bet I am. <laughs> okay, here's your penis. You said you want to come in for some lemonade. So? Yeah, yeah, uh, were you just going to give me lemonade? Yeah! -ha! Cover yourself up! Oh, right. Sorry. I don't believe this. I mean, someone asks you in for lemonade, and to you that means they want to have sex? Um, usually, yeah. Well, not just lemonade. Iced tea, sometimes juice. Monica and Rachel had syrup. Uh-uh, now I can get my man to cheer up. <laughs> Good morning, Joey. Good morning. You know, every time she starts laughing, I just want to... Pull my arm off just so I have something to throw at her. <laughs> oh, hey, Chandler, we, uh, we stopped by the coffee shop and uh, ran into Ross. Oh, God. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I do it too. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I always picture your mom when I'm having sex. <laughs> So, in the words of A.A. A. Milne, get out of my chair, dill hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you said I had to give you the chair. You didn't see anything about the cushions. <laughs> the cushions are the essence of the chair. That's right. I'm taking the essence. <laughs> Where's my underwear? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, what? You took his underwear? He took my essence. Okay, hold on. Joey, why, why can't you just wear the underwear you're wearing now? Because I'm not wearing any underwear now. Okay, um, then why do you have to wear underwear tonight? It's a rented tux, okay? I'm not gonna go commando in another man's fatigue. Okay, you hide my clothes, I'm gonna do the exact opposite to you. What, are you going to show me my clothes? Hey, opposite is opposite. He's got nothing! Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh, my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me. I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? <laughs> Maybe if I wasn't going commando. <laughs> yeah. Whew. I'll tell you, it's hot with all this stuff on. I, uh, I better not do any, I don't know, lunges. <laughs> okay, okay. See, Joe, that's why your parents told you not to jump on the bed. What is this? Fruit? 
Yeah, Monica's making jam. Whoa, jam? I love jam. Hey, how come we never have jam at our place? Because the kids need new shoes. <laughs> then when you're a kid and your mom would drop you off at the movies with a jar of jam and a little spoon. You're so pretty. Joe, I gotta ask. The girl from the Xerox place, buck naked, or, or a big tub of jam? Put your hands together. <laughs> All right, how's this? 27, Italian-American guy. He's an actor, born in Queens. Wow, big family. Seven sisters, and he's the only boy. Oh, my God, under personal comments, New York Knicks rule. Yeah, the Knicks rule. Joey, this is you. Let me see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I called the sperm bank today. They haven't sold a single unit of Tribbiani. <laughs> Nobody wants my product. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't get it, you know? They met me in person. Honey, you got a little thing in your. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. It seems to me it's pretty much like anything else, you know? Face your fear. You have a fear of heights? You go to the top of the building. You're afraid of bugs. Get a bug. <laughs> It's not a part, no. I'm teaching acting for soap operas down at the learning extension. Come on, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like my chance to give something back to the acting community. You know, you're probably not allowed to sleep with any of your students. <laughs> I know. Okay, some tricks of the trade. Now, I've never been able to cry as an actor, so if I'm in a scene where I have to cry, I cut a hole in my pocket, Take a pair of tweezers and just start pulling. Okay. Or, uh, or let's say I want to convey that I've uh, just done something evil. Well, that would be your basic. I've got a fish hook in my eyebrow and I like it. <laughs> okay. Let's say I've just gotten bad news. Well, all I do there is try and divide 232 by 13. Yeah. I got a science question. Mm. If the Homo sapiens were, in fact, Homo sapiens, <laughs> is that why they're extinct? Joey, Homo sapiens are people. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just... <laughs> Pick a card, any card. All right, now memorize it. Show it to everybody. Got it? All right, give it back to me. <laughs> Five of hearts. Real magic does exist. Wow. wow. Joey, how do you do it? I can't tell you that. No. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. If you really want to know how I did it, I'll show you. <laughs> when you handed me back the card, what you didn't see was I looked at it so fast, it was invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> I just did it. Just did it again. Here, I'll slow it down so you guys can see it. Ready? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Three years of modern dance with Twyla Tharp. Five years with the American Ballet Theater. Hey, everybody lies on their resume, okay? I wasn't one of the Zoom kids either. Can you, like, dance at all? Yeah, I can dance, you know. No, 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 no. Well, you know what? She's with him. And you'll be all, oh, man. And he'll be all, yes. Right? And us, we'll be like, oh, dude. Right? 
And pretty soon you'll be like, hi. And, and, and oh, I can't go. Rachel and Mark might be there. And we'll be like, man, get over it. It's been four years. He paints quite a picture, doesn't he? Uh, jobs do. Uh, whoa. Oh. Joey? Joey Tribbiani. Joey, I can see you, okay? You're hiding behind the coats? That's the girl I was hiding from. When she finds out he's my roommate, she's gonna tell him what I did. Why, what did you do? Oh, 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 no, no, I can't. <laughs> that night I cooked this really romantic dinner. You gave her food poisoning. I wish. <laughs> After dinner, me, her, and Pepper all fell asleep in front of the fire. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw that the fire was dying out, so I picked up a log and threw it on. <laughs> or at least what I thought was a log. Oh, my God! You threw Pepper on the fire! I wish. <laughs> See, I guess another thing I probably should have told you about Ginger is that she kind of has a, uh, artificial leg. <laughs> Joey, what did you do after you threw her leg on the fire? I ran! Can I see the comics? <clears throat> this is the New York Times. Okay, may I see the comics? <laughs> oh, mommy, oh, daddy, I am a big old daddy. Oh, mommy, oh, daddy, I am a big old daddy. Where do I know you from? Dr. Drake Ramore, <laughs> Days of Our Lives, voted most dateable neurosurgeon by Team B. That infomercial. <laughs> For the milk carton spout thing. <laughs> you're, you're the guy who doesn't know how to pour milk. <laughs> see, I actually can pour milk, but I got you believing that I couldn't. <laughs> now, see, that's acting. All right, at the end, you choked on a cookie. Yeah, that was real. <laughs> Don this spaceship. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to Blargon 7 in search of alternative fuels. <laughs> so you tell your great, great granddaughter to look me up. Because Adrian, baby, I'm gonna wanna meet her. Which means I have five, and that means I get Joey's boxers. Fine, gang up on me. I got you all right where I want you. Come on, take them off. Actually, you know, it's kind of cold, so how about I keep my boxers on and give you all a peek at the good stuff? <laughs> Shh, Joey's asleep. <laughs> Good morning. Nice breasts, by the way. You know what? Mm. Bet you I could fit in there. I get five bucks, says you can't. Get out your checkbook, mister. Oh, I think I have the cash. dog, man. I totally fit. Yeah, you got me. I'm at five big ones. There you go. Thank you. Cha-ching! <laughs> oh, well, hello, Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> Better luck next time, buddy. And the drinks are on me.